what is going on guys Carlos here from everything tech in this video we're going to remove the FRP of a Galaxy J3 2017 so this is the J330 FN which is the European version this might not work with other region phones so you can attempt it but got nothing to lose I guess but uh, it might not work for you so the first thing we're going to need to do is triple click really really quick on the home button to enable talk back tutorial we talk back tutorial we need to draw an L on the screen and go into talk back settings so click on talk back settings you might have to double tap tap and then double tap and then two fingers to slide all the way down but you should be able to disable accessibility now so go to help and feedback double tap so tap to select and double tap and then triple click again the home button and uh, that will disable accessibility you should hear disabling accessibility now we're gonna need to look for voice get started with voice access this used to work but I can't see the YouTube video here anymore so it is not there but there is another option that would work and that is about switch access for for Android so click on that one and you'll have a YouTube video there click on the play button and then click on the share button on the top right and click on the three dots and that will open you the YouTube app so once the YouTube app is open click not now reduce the video down to the bottom and close it and then go into the accounts placeholder on the top click on terms and privacy policy and you can cancel this in Samsung internet and now we're gonna go and do a search on top because we are on the internet with the Samsung internet browser click on the YouTube on the top and type in Apex launcher should be one of the first options so as you can see the Apex launcher and then just slide down a little bit until you see the up down up to down and click on that one and then click on download and uh, click on saving when it comes to this box in here and then at the bottom you should say open file so click on that one to open file and you click on settings Samsung internet settings and then you click on allow from this source go back and click install you might need to pause it in order to pick up everything but just don't be afraid to pause it and then you know make sure that you're doing the right thing also this works for u3 the u3 binary and you want to with u3 you just have to update your phone to u3 and in order to use this guide so when you get to this bit in here just click on skip and that should be you are on the apex browser click on cancel on the congratulations thing click on the little dot at the bottom and then go into the settings app so in the settings go all the way to the bottom click about this phone click software information and then as you can see we are on Android version 8 so now all we need to do is open the browser again Samsung internet browser click on the search bar on the top and we're gonna look for Google account manager 8 so write exactly what I'm writing so Google account manager and then write the number 8 and click on go and now you'll see many different options in here just make sure that you choose the right one that I'm choosing as well so tech oxygen is the one that I chose 8.1 it says so click on keep on going down until you see the Google account manager for Android 8 in here it's a little bit misleading just skip over it and keep on going down until you see the links at the bottom so you got Google account manager APK for 8 and 8.1 Oreo click on the link click on save and open file again and then click on install and that has uh, installed the Google account manager so just click on done now and let's go back and look for something else we need one more thing so in the search box click um, uh, write FRP bypass APK 8 Android 8 so FRP bypass APK and click on go bunch of YouTube videos but you should see a link that says uh, FRP bypass dot download click on that one it's the 2019 version and then just keep on going down until you see download FRP bypass IPK click on that link 
and then click again on save. So now you'll see open file, click on open file and click on install. Once it's finished installing, click on open and that will open that part that you're going login online. So untick the box, click browser sign in on the dots on the top, click OK and then you're going to need to put your, your account in here. Once uh, you put in your account, just click next and you will just come to this page again. So click on um, restart or power button and then restart the phone. And when the phone comes back on, you will have um, you will have your account in there. You will say that the account has been added and uh, it will be your account. So all you need to do after that is go through the tutorial keep on uh, going skipping things and uh, logging into uh, other things uh, if you want to uh, I think your account is going to be there already so it's not a real problem if you uh, start adding things because the phone has been reset that's how you found out that uh, the FRP was there but uh, just to be on a safe side I think it's better that you reset the phone so skip everything until you get to the home screen and then you go into settings and go on to factory data reset in order to reset the phone properly but let's wait for the phone to boot now and uh, it's almost there now and we'll see uh, what you need to do exactly so as you can see accessibility is not on at the moment so click on start you can turn on wi-fi or not i turned it on and it's already connected to my main wi-fi network so i click on next and then I click um, agree the terms and conditions, click on next once more, one more time. And then I just uh, skipped through all of the, see, as you can see, account has been added. So you can just click on next in there because that's going to be your account, the one that you added on that stage that I told you. And then, um, as you can see, uh, it just goes through the motions, looking for backups and things like that. Like if the phone has been... Uh, reset already but it hasn't it's just your account has been added so I'm not adding any passwords or anything else to this phone uh, I'm just keep on going and uh, accepting um, conditions and uh, uh, skipping logging into uh, Google Google Play and uh, Samsung uh, account and things like that it's just told me that you can't restore it because there are no restore points this is just a burner account that I've got um, and then adding finishing touches, it will tell you to log into your Samsung account. Just click on skip and then click on skip one more time and click on finish. And that's it. You are in the phone and your account has been added. But for to be on a safe side, I would go and reset the phone now. This is exactly uh, what I did. And obviously you can either follow what I did or not. Uh, so if you want to reset the phone, just go into settings and then go all the way down to about this phone and uh, go to reset and then factory data reset and that means that it's going to delete everything including your account every single thing that is on this phone so click on delete all this takes 15 minutes at least you know 10 to 15 minutes to reset the whole phone i sped up through this part of the video because i just didn't want to make this video um, even longer but as you can see you can get into the phone without uh, without uh, using a computer you don't need to use anything you just use the APKs that I told you go to the websites and you should be fine with uh, bypassing FRP on this phone with firmware U3 maximum so as you can see emergency call and accessibility is now enabled and uh, I'm not even logging into my Wi-Fi I'm just going to accept everything that I need to accept and get to the home screen and uh, not even put in a name or anything I'm going to skip pretty much everything so you guys can see that you can just bypass everything and go into uh, the home screen. So I guess this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like and consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'm always releasing videos on FRP and other tech gadgets. So if you like my content, just click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I release a new video. So as you can see, everything is already done. Uh, so thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.